Once dismissed as a gimmick, folding smartphones are quietly becoming one of the biggest battlegrounds in the tech world. Samsung has poured billions into it. Google has joined the race. And Apple, though notoriously secretive, appears to be positioning itself to jump in as well. The question is, why are the world's biggest tech companies betting so heavily on a phone that bends? This isn't just about flashy screens. It's about the future of mobile computing, the next stage of consumer engagement, and potentially the end game for traditional flat smartphones. The early struggles of foldables. When Samsung first revealed the Galaxy Fold back in 2019, the launch was rocky. Review units broke, screens cracked. Critics mocked the $2,000 price tag. It looked like a failed experiment. But Samsung didn't back down. Instead, it doubled down. Each generation got sturdier, slimmer, and more refined. By 2023, the Galaxy Z Fold and Z Flip lines were selling millions worldwide, especially in markets like South Korea, China, and parts of Europe. What started as a risky gamble evolved into a profitable niche, now threatening to go mainstream. The lesson? Folding smartphones weren't just a flex. They tapped into consumer desire for bigger screens without bigger pockets. Google enters the game. When Google unveiled the Pixel Fold, it wasn't just another product launch. It was a power play. For years, Samsung stood as the lone giant carrying the torch for foldables. But Google's entry changed the narrative instantly. This wasn't just Samsung's playground anymore. It was evolving into an entire ecosystem. Google didn't just release a foldable device. It rewrote the software playbook. Android was optimized for split screens and dual displays, transforming multitasking into something fluid and natural. Apps like YouTube, Gmail, and Maps weren't simply stretched across two panels. They adapted intelligently, turning folding phones from clunky experiments into serious productivity machines. By betting on foldables, Google wasn't just shipping another device. It was future-proofing Android itself. If foldables become the mainstream form factor, Google has already positioned Android as the backbone that powers the transition. Apple's calculated silence. And then there's Apple, the one player who could tip the scales overnight. As of today, no foldable iPhone exists. But make no mistake, Apple is watching, waiting, and planning. Leaked patents, whispered supply chain leaks, and insider reports all tell the same story. Apple has been quietly testing foldable prototypes for years. Documents show hinge innovations, foldable OLED screens from LG and Samsung, and even radical designs for foldable iPads and hybrid MacBooks. So why the silence? Two words, timing and perfection. Apple has never been first to market. It wasn't first with MP3 players, smartphones, or smartwatches. But when it did arrive, it rewrote the rules. Apple thrives not on being early, but on delivering flawless execution. And foldables are still young. Fragile hinges, sky-high prices, and questionable durability have kept them from mass adoption. Apple knows this. It's waiting for the perfect moment. When technology stabilizes, when costs drop, when the ecosystem is ready, and when that moment comes, Apple's foldable could do what the iPhone did in 2007. Not just enter a market, but legitimize it overnight. If a foldable iPhone drops tomorrow, it won't just be a product. It will be the signal that foldables have finally arrived. Why foldables matter. The big picture. The consumer shift. Who's buying foldables? Interestingly, the strongest demand isn't in the US. Instead, Asia, particularly South Korea, China, and India, is leading adoption. In South Korea, Samsung's home market, foldables already make up more than 30% of premium phone sales. Young consumers see foldables as a status symbol, while professionals view them as productivity tools. In China, where super apps like WeChat dominate, the multitasking capabilities of foldables add tangible value. As costs drop and designs improve, Analysts predict foldables could make up 20% of global smartphone shipments by 2030. How foldables are changing work and play. Foldable smartphones aren't just cool, they're reshaping how people use devices. 
for work. Foldables allow three apps to run simultaneously. A marketer can edit a spreadsheet, attend a Zoom call, and reference emails, all on one screen. For entertainment, watching movies on a near tablet-sized screen is immersive, while gamers benefit from expansive play areas. For creativity, Foldables unlock sketching, editing, and designing on the go with stylus support. In short, Foldables turn smartphones into mini laptops, blurring the line between productivity and entertainment. Challenges ahead. Of course, Foldables aren't perfect. Durability issues. Hinges remain vulnerable, and foldable screens can still crease. High costs. Most foldables are priced above $1,000, limiting accessibility. Battery life. Powering two screens is demanding, and innovation is still needed. App optimization. While Google is leading the way, not all apps adapt smoothly to folding displays. These challenges explain why Apple hasn't jumped in yet, but also why innovation is accelerating. What happens next? The future of foldables. The next five years will decide the fate of folding smartphones. Cheaper models. As production scales, foldables could drop to $600 to $800, making them mainstream. Rollables and expandables. Companies like TCL and Oppo are already testing phones with rollable displays that stretch horizontally. Final thoughts. Folding smartphones may have started as a gimmick, but today they represent the cutting edge of mobile innovation. Samsung proved persistence pays off. Google proved software is key. And Apple? It's waiting to strike when the timing is perfect. The real question is not if foldables will go mainstream, but when. And when they do, our relationship with the smartphone could change forever. What do you think? Are foldables the future or just an expensive distraction? Would you ditch your traditional phone for one that bends? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Smash the like button if you enjoyed this deep dive and subscribe for more tech breakdowns that keep you ahead of the curve. The foldable revolution is coming and you don't wanna miss what happens next.